What's up, guys? <clears throat> I'm a little sick today, but I wanted to do a uh, live stream. We got a few things to talk about. Yes, I was late again. I was taking a little bit of medicine. Who's here? What's up, man? Good to see you. <clears throat> what is up? Yeah, I totally feel that, Jay, for sure. Who else is here? Yeah, I saw. It's doing really good. Uh, what is up? Good to see you guys. I'm like so congested today, so I apologize. Be here, we sniff it. I got tea right here. Some water. Hey, John, you still bullish? Yeah. We're going to get into a lot of that because uh, I feel like people are starting to FOMO into it. Uh, crypto today, Bitcoin's up to 72K. And, uh, yeah, it's it's great times, great times. But I saw, you know, a few questions. People are still, like, wondering if certain picks are bullish at this point. It's like, you know, at this stage, if you're starting to, like, wonder why certain picks are not moving, I mean, you you got to understand how the market works, right? Right now, the focus is Bitcoin. So until Bitcoin stops running up, you're not going to see the majority of all coins uh, run up with it. Now, I know we see Arrow, which is doing amazing. I'm going to see if I can find it here on the crypto bubbles. But <clears throat> that's probably just the exception. Uh, let's see where we can find it. It's got to be the 400, 500 range. Here it is. Arrow, this is the uh, crypto that gets a lot of heat. And the people that just blindly listen to people um, miss this huge pump. Let's actually see where the price is um, real quick. So it's at 63 cents. Not bad. So, yeah, Arrow is a DEX for Coinbase that a lot of people think is a pump and dump, which I'm kind of surprised but not surprised because the majority of people don't spend more than five minutes to research a crypto. I noticed this cycle, <clears throat> which is a little different last cycle, people are starting to realize that retail is getting smarter. Not smart, but getting smarter. So rather than fudge certain picks, they rather go after the influencers themselves because if you pull the root, the uh, from the root, and you discredit a YouTuber, you're naturally going to say, okay, all their picks are garbage because they're they're a bad influencer. So I noticed this time around, a lot of people are trying to sway the audience uh, by literally just saying stupid shit these days. Uh, I really don't care. Like, I even posted on Twitter, actions speak for itself. Like, without even saying anything, I don't have to say a, a word, right? Arrow ran up. Uh, I see uh, what else? Penguin is down a lot, which I bought some more yesterday. That one's going to run up real soon, I feel. Uh, but again, you're going to get the questions of, hey, John, you still bullish on Pangolin or PNG, rather? And I'm like, yep, super bullish. Uh, been lowering the boat on it. I bought it literally yesterday. I bought it a few times at 46 already. And uh, my first entry was uh, 8 cents. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, <coughs> let's pull up coin market cap. Um, let's pull this up. So yeah, Everett's all reached a new all-time high. They went to sixty. Uh, did it hit sixty-eight cents? I'm not sure. I think it did. Um, but regardless. It's pretty freaking bullish. Like the year chart is the mud chart. This chart, I mean, it's look at this. This is the new support <laughs> right here. 35 cents, 40 cents, and then it just broke it. Right now, people are taking profits, I feel. The uh, short-term traders who are going to regret this, by the way. They'll regret it. As soon as it breaks a dollar, they'll be buying back in. Um, let them trade for a 2x, 3x, whatever. Who cares? Uh, I just buy the dips when I see them. 
And see, look, this is what I mean, guys. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize like this charge bullish, but you're going to see idiot, you know, YouTubers or Futters say, oh my God, this is going to go to zero. Like, no, look, eight cents. We didn't buy here. This is one of the few picks we did not buy the bottom in. We got pretty damn close though. 14 cents was the first entry. So right here, right when this bottomed out started peaking its head on the corner, this is what we got in right here. 14 cents, and then I bought it again at 25 cents, which is right uh, here, and then 37 cents uh, right here before this big wick up, and then I'm pretty sure I bought it at about 40 cents again. I forget the prices, but uh, yeah, Arrow, I'm holding a pretty big bag of this for a reason. I'm bullish on it. Like I, I don't understand the logic of people trading this thing for a 2x, 3x. Um like I said, if you're here, you know, spamming the chat, I saw one question about LCX. Like, if you're spamming the chat on certain picks, like, you know, reverse psychology saying, hey, John, you haven't covered this pick in a while. You know, I'm assuming you sold it or some stupid shit like that. Or, hey, John, do you like this pick? And I noticed Casper right now is getting so much uh, paper hand selling Casper. Like, you're going to regret that. Like, mark my words, you're going to regret that. Um, Casper, I said in my last video, um, the tier one exchange listings will hold it back if no one lists it because, uh, you know, naturally if people can't buy it, they won't buy it. You know, the majority of people buy on Coinbase and Binance and also, you know, Gemini, Crypto.com, Kraken. So if you don't see Casper get listed there, you're going to see some selling pressure most likely. The majority of whales aren't going to sell this, but the majority of retail will sell this. Um, it doesn't mean it's a bad pick. It just means like, they're going to regret it when it does get listed on Coinbase or Binance. Um, regardless of what happens to this cycle, this is a pick that I'll never get bearish on. Um, you know, fair launch, proof of work, similar to Bitcoin, store value, digital silver to Bitcoin's digital gold. Um, the uh, circulating supply, they just added more. So now it's $23 billion. So they literally have 80% circulating, which is 20% inflation, which is pretty much nothing. Um, first bull cycle. And uh, there's no BC interest to dump on you. But I said in my last video for Caspa, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because because they're fair launch, because Yonatich's not doing AMAs, because Shy is not paying exchanges to list it, it's taking more time for exchanges to list it, especially exchanges like Coinbase, which go through a bet process, security checks. It's a new tech block tag, which I'm sure is causing some you know delayed uh, action on these uh, exchanges. The fact that it's proof of work, we like it. The majority of influencers don't like it because it harms the environment. It's competing with Bitcoin, a.k.a. it's a threat. Like, uh, what's his name? Da Vinci Jeremy. Um, yeah, he knows it's all the trilemma. Obviously, he's not going to admit it for bias reasons. He's an early Bitcoin investor. The more eyes that go off Bitcoin to Casper, the less gains he makes in Bitcoin, which naturally makes sense. Uh, not to cause shade, it is what it is. I'm just, I said my video too. I could care less what anybody says. Like, at this point, I am used to fun. At this point, I am used to people attacking me, whatever. Um, like I said, action speak for itself. And, uh, I will say this, Casper at a penny, Aerodome 14 cents, PNG 8 cents, LCX 3 cents, Art Block 8 cents. These are all entries that I got in, my Discord got in, but these are also all price examples of where you saw maximum fun. People do not genuinely enjoy the red. No matter what they say, they don't enjoy the red. Believe it or not, let's go back. Like, here's a good example right here. Penguin. This is one of my bullish texts. I love Penguin PNG. They're very active on Twitter. Mark my words. People are going to miss this dip to 40 cents. Even if it breaks to 35, 30 cents, they're going to miss this. They're going to look at this, right? And say, okay, 85 cents was the, was the top. It's going down, guys. Not realize like this, all this right here is consolidation. This is literally the definition of consolidation. The ones who are saying it's coming back here, you're dreaming. It's not going to happen. Telling you, don't take my word for it. You will see in due time, like we saw for Arrow, like we saw for Artblock, like we saw for LCX, like we saw for Say, Turbo. I can name you guys picks all day where I got fun for buying it. And they all have charts very similar to this. 
not to sound like a cocky a-hole. I'm just saying, like, this is why it's important to be your own investor. Because while the majority of people are going to discredit me, attack, picks, whatever, could care less. It actually causes more fun, which for me is a buying opportunity. I could care less, right? Um, this is a bullish chart, okay? And this price is an example of a red discount that people will literally miss out on. Even right here, look, PNG. DC and the red is where you make money. Yeah, people know this. I don't know who uh, tweeted this, but they're 100% right. People know this, but they don't do it. Because they're like, oh, I'd rather buy it here because it already ran up a 10x from here. This is confirmation bias. Um, people just don't, they don't learn. Like, this is the thing, right? Bitcoin just broke 72K. If you don't know this now, just, just wait. You'll be back for the next cycle trying to figure it all out again. Like, I'm literally, I'm not here to make you guys feel good or whatever. I don't care if you say this guy's a douchebag, whatever. If I make you money, if I help become an independent, confident investor, I can care less what you think of me. I am going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not, okay? I don't have an, a biased opinion. I'm not a shiller. I work a job outside of here, which I thankfully just put my two weeks in for. Like, I have never changed since I started YouTube. I've literally been the same since day one. Today, I'm just naturally, you know, sick, whatever, but it is what it is. But, again, this is an example. Like, Penguin's going to be an example like Arrow. Arrow... People are like, oh, this one's a you know pump and dump because the tokenomics aren't the best, which I get. But again, I've said it before. Like, say, connections matter in this space. Marketing matters in this space. And this is why Caspa is being suppressed right now for the, for the same reasons. Caspa is not a connected crypto. It's not a marketed crypto. You don't see Shay on YouTube all the time making videos. You don't see Jonathan doing AMAs. And so cash plus getting the reverse side of this, but arrow, like say, is connected. And look at say, say has bad tokenomics, just like arrow. Look at say, like I don't know how many charts I can show you guys of why you got to be your own investor. Look at say, it's right there. It's literally right there. Like again, when I bought this at twenty cents, twenty five cents, the comments were. Oh my God, John, why would you buy a VC backed crypto? I can't believe you call this the next Solana. Say the gains were already made. Like, look at this right here, the year chart. Actually, let's put the old chart. Oh, that is the old chart. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> Another brand new crypto, right? Um, for some reason, it's not showing further back, but it was nine cents at one point. And um, look at this consolidation at 88 cents consolidation you see this look at this up over at uh eleven thousand percent roughly in a year i'll keep going like i don't get tired of this like this is and i'm not like i said i'm not trying to i'm trying to help you guys rewire your mindset because a lot of people don't understand what i'm saying um look at turbo i bought this at uh two zeros no three zero three that was my first entry where's three zero three 303 is probably have to go further back actually. Here it is. 303. Literally the bottom in a month. Not the year, but look. 303, which means I'm up 275% today. Look at this chart. This chart looks very similar to Arrow, Pangolin. What else does it look like? This one right here, which I heard I saw is getting fun too. Which again, when I see fun, by the way, guys, for those who are not on my Patreon and Discord, if you're trying to find an easy way to figure out when to buy, the the minute you can start seeing spam of "Hey John, you're still bullish." Hey John, it's dumping. Just buy it. Not financial advice, but just buy that crypto because when you see a lot of people talking like that, they're already selling it or they're starting to trim their positions or or getting ready to. So <laughs> without even like following the buy alerts like literally you could probably follow that and make some money because this is another one look at this right people are looking at this which is not even bad they're looking at this oh my god this one's so bad they got their magnifying glasses and then i'm out here looking at this and i'm like man i miss these days right here and look again consolidation right here it's literally showing in the chart consolidation now, this is a little bit of a downtrend for the past month, but I've been accumulating LCX. But I'm not going to give these guys confirmation bias and 
the whole reverse psychology of, hey, John, you didn't make a video in, in five minutes on this crypto. I guess you don't care about it anymore. Like now I just ignore those comments because, like I said, there's really no need to answer those people because they will find out in the coming days, coming weeks, whether I was still holding it, whether I was buying it. And not, and not only that, I answered one person with that question and someone else comes in just like that. Thank you for tagging me in, bro. Just like WWE, right? They tag each other in, and then the other guy comes in and goes, hey, John, so you still like this one? It's like, okay. They just want to be lazy investors and not research. Like, uh, you can't depend on YouTubers, guys. I keep telling you this. Uh, the majority of you don't do this, thankfully. Um, if you ever join my Discord, you'll see very, for yourself. Like, I get questions like that from time to time from new members, and I say, you tell me. Like, you tell me, how do you feel about it? Like, I'm not here to give you this confirmation bias. Another crypto that I'm not holding that I told everyone who's holding it that it's not a bad crypto, it's whatever you believe, is XRP. XRP was up 20% today. Again, guys, a crypto that gets a lot of hate, and it's up 20%. A top five crypto is up 20% today. Like, people don't understand, like, you got to have conviction in your place. So I'm very happy for this XRP community. Even though it's a large supply, 100 billion for utility-backed crypto, like they're making gains too, okay? The ones who are not making gains are the ones who are not buying in the red. Like, for example, if you're buying XRP right here, 37 cents, whatever, you're up a 2x roughly. So you know what I mean? Like, this is why it's important to understand what you're getting into. Um, this is what I got into recently, Fox. I'm going to look to DCA again further. Uh, Shapeshift Fox, another Dex crypto. The app looks friggin' amazing. Another crypto that, look, the chart looks very similar, guys. I mean, I don't know how many charts I can show. Like, I like buying suppressed undervalued cryptos or at least oversold cryptos, which Shapeshift Fox is definitely, definitely falls into the oversold territory because the founder, Eric Voorhees, he liquidated the balance sheet, which is another name for saying, hey, we just, everything got liquidated, their assets, and it caused it to take to uh, a little less than two cents right here, which is why the chart looks so bad. Um, but that was a much needed transition to become a DAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization, which not only destroyed the allocations they had prior to the team and him, because he, he was holding a third of the supply. And now he said in an interview, he's holding 5%. Um, the team that was laid off, the employees rather, uh, not the team, the employees, they were allocated a certain part of the supply to make up for the lack of W-2s they were getting. So I imagine they were all selling it right here. So I wish I bought it here at 2 cents. I couldn't get the bottom for this one, but I'll gladly take 9 cents on this because this one has the same supply a little bit more than uh, LCX. And LCX, I see get to a minimum of around five dollars a cycle. So Shapeshift Fox, either from this price, a 10x from here, which is very likely during this time, is a one billion market cap, give or take. This thing can also fly very easily. So definitely a bullish crypto for me. Um, but yeah, guys, you gotta make sure you research, right? Because I'm telling you this, like I know it's lonely when you research cryptos that are beat up, like. It's lonely researching it because the majority of your peers are not going to agree with you. They're going to say, why would you buy that one? It sucks. It hasn't moved in five minutes. Are you sure about that one, bro? It's only it's only uh, down 80% from all-time high. Why would you buy that? Buy Casper. Buy this. You know, and I'm like, well, how do you make the 100x? Like, this is the most common misconception I said before, right? A lot of people think the 100x has not been uh, created yet in the market. I'm not saying a new crypto can't perform well. I'm saying a lot of the 100 X's are right there in your face, but people don't want to uh, uh, see it for their very self because they want to get the confirmation bias. But these 100 X's are literally right here in your face and oftentimes on Coinbase. Um, but I guess they will see it in due time. So, yeah, it's uh, – a. Like I said, guys, I tried to warn the majority of my audience early on. Like, if you don't think for yourself, you're going to miss out. Or two, you're going to buy much higher than you predicted or expected, rather, and you're going to regret it. So uh, let this be a lesson. 
Um, because sooner or later you're gonna see the rips take place for the old coins. And right now we're just seeing that cherry on top with the old coins because uh right now the focus is on Bitcoin. Let's actually pull up Bitcoin, see where it's going. Bitcoin's doing amazing. Look at this. Bitcoin's doing great. 36 days away from a having. I would literally watch it go down. Look at that. <laughs> 36 days, guys. A little bit over a month. Not far away now. And it's already at 72K. You see that? By the way, for those who don't know, the happening is when they they cut the rewards in half for the miners. So it creates more scarcity and it improves the supply and demand for Bitcoin which is why the price usually gets inflated, which oftentimes always does. But initially you see a dump because people take profits. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Let's get to a QA. and I'll keep this up here to see if Bitcoin just keeps ripping it. <clears throat> Crypto cap store. I bought Arrow at 0.39 great gains. Thanks, John. Wanted to ask you about Arrow's sister coin, Novello. You're the best. Yeah, I don't want to spread myself too thin. I hold so many DEXs already. And Velo is not bad. But Velo you can get for rewards with Arrow, I believe. And Arrow being a newer crypto with base, which is not yet launched on Coinbase, with Coinbase backing it, literally backing it, um, i rather focus on Arrow, which obviously is you know doing very well for itself. Let's see where Arrow's at. Um, if you want to invest in Velo, by all means, go ahead. I will not be doing that because my focus is Arrow, Arrow Drone Finance. Um, like I said, it's going to break a dollar soon. This thing can hit over a dollar during this time. Like it's only a, oh, this market cap's wrong, but it's like a 200 million market cap. Let me see. Coin market cap's always wrong. In this. Um, let me see where it's at. Yeah, it's a 215 million market cap. So it could 5, 10x at this price. And a 10x from here is roughly $6 before it marries Bitcoin. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, I'd rather focus on Aerodome, uh personally. Thank you for your, for your super chat. Darren, thank you for your $5 super chat. It means a lot, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Yeah, I agree. It's just a, I agree. It's just the beginning for sure. Uh, hey, John, what are your thoughts on tips being coin read a lottery? Yeah, I see. I see you guys' comments. Uh, I'm not really interested in that one. Nah, uh, the only meme coins I'm rocking with right now is is uh, Turbo and Bonk. Um, I honestly don't want to get any more right now. Like, I feel like they they're they're bullish. Meme coins are bullish, but. I'm biased towards utility plays. I don't like spending a lot of time just uh, buying meme coins. It's like going, like you said, going to the lottery and just wasting money. Um, you can make some good gains, I'm sure, but the more distracted you get with chasing memes, it just becomes a little harder to make some gains with, with the real plays. But uh, yeah, if you guys are bullish, by all means, go ahead. And this is what I like, by the way, guys who are, who are watching this. Like they're talking about this in my Discord. I didn't buy it. I didn't say I was bullish, and they're buying it. And some are making some pretty good gains. So it's very important to be your own investor. Uh, hey, Josh, I want to say thanks because you mentioned DeFi Web3 or something. Yeah, let me just you guys and other lessons. Yeah, Web3 and DeFi are very underrated niches. A lot of people are focused on memes, metaverse, AI, which they're they're bullish too. I saw Art Block is very heavily getting into AI as well. So. These sectors will take off. Well, I don't, I don't know about the metaverse one, but uh, DeFi, Web3. I'm sure gaming is going to do fine too. I just don't – I don't like the risk for gaming. Surprisingly, and I know this is going to sound like a, like a, a, a controversial take, I'd rather buy memes over gaming, <laughs> to be honest. I think memes are more bullish. Warn me more. <laughs> Hey, John, when will the weather improve? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe when I get better, when my nose gets unclogged. Jewel picking John. <laughs> Yo, John, across the pond. Have a great day. You too, man. 
<sighs> What's up, man? Good to see you. Wow, nice. That's a good accomplishment. They're probably into it now because Bitcoin broke 72K, though. That explains why Bitcoin's up, probably. That's good. That's very bullish. More adoption for crypto. Hey, John, buying Telos? No, I am not. Hey, John, can our block realistically reach $5 for having? Yes, it can. If it goes to $5 for having, they can buy 10 Yeah, it definitely can. Will it actually happen? We'll see. But it definitely can. A $5 price tag for our block is literally 500 million market cap. That's nothing. Um, you're seeing meme coins now do it during this time. I think Pepe itself reached like 3 billion market cap like during this time. So, yeah, a utility play like Art Block with scarcity it has, you know, with, with the utility it has, which is massive, yeah, it can easily hit $5. Art Block right now to consolidate at the previous all time high, I think a lot of people don't understand how big that is. Um, that's a very big uh, indicator for me that some big moves coming soon. Um, Look at this. This is literally the all-time high. $1.63 was the all-time high previously. Um, this is a bullish chart. <laughs> it looks bearish here, right? Look how quickly this changed. Um, yeah, our block is going to have a massive move. Like You'll see for yourself. It's going to be so massive. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, Johnny, still bullish? Nope, I'm bearish. Viva Hernando with two dollars and fifty super chat. Thoughts on orders? Thought I'd go nuts to BTC. Uh, no, I don't know that one. Is that a BRC twenty? If it is, I'm not that bullish on BRC twenties. I don't see the need to scale Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Everyone knows Bitcoin's slow. Everyone knows Bitcoin is not. It's not for. No one's going out there spending Bitcoin to buy Starbucks. I think people are starting to realize that it's becoming more of a digital gold store of value, like a cyber bank. So I just don't see the need for if it, if Orange is the one I'm thinking about BRC twenty I just I'm not bullish on it to be honest. Yo yo, what's everyone's views on LCX? Uh, you tell me. I hear hey John, they're all right. <laughs> Hey, John, I'm a pleb. Yeah, I forget what that means. Dion always says that. I always forget what pleb means. Uh, he said it before. I forget. Uh, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Wish I bought my arrow. Got in at 28 cents, though. Yeah, everyone wishes that. Uh, good entry, though. Good job. Hey, John, why aren't you live? Hey, John. <laughs> yeah, exactly. XRP's pumping. I didn't look into it, but uh, yeah, looks good. Yeah, I know. 11.45 summer. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> he meant 1.45. Yeah, XRP is doing good. What's up, Shoel? Yeah, I saw a lot of questions last stream on Quant. I hope you, uh, I hope you made some moves, or at least uh, found your conviction or lack thereof. What's up, Kenshin? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know. It's doing good. <laughs> Wife changing gates. Fetch is king. I disagree, but sure. Uh, air swap. Okay. Doopy, what is up? What's up, Angus? Arrow became a jet. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. What's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, hey, John, I'm spending more time with you than my wife. <laughs> I see some of your comments on Discord. You always have me laughing. Uh, yeah, if she starts getting mad at you, just explain to her that you're making money and that you'll take her out to dinner, you know, later this year or next year. So, uh, uh, please don't make her mad at me, but uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Good to see you, man. Thank you for your uh, your five dollars super chat. It means a lot. Um, hey, John Arrow, let's freaking go! Yeah, <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. You're the goat. Your new name is Lejon. <laughs> 
Yeah, shout out to LeBron. I, I like LeBron a lot. Uh, he gets a lot of hate because he gets called a, like a crybaby, but I like him a lot. LeBron's a good guy. <laughs> LeJar James. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why, too. I have bad allergies. I, I have to get like a, a deviated septum surgery, too, because I can barely breathe on my nose. Love your picks and how you can grab the right off Coinbase. Yeah, that's the thing, right? I want to be the normie YouTuber who becomes a millionaire because I want to prove a point that you don't need a VPN and you don't have to be a degenerate to make money in this game. Um, I know the majority of people probably disagree with that, but I find that fascinating because, uh, I mean, you can already say I had a bull run. You can already say I debunked that myth, but I want to keep going. I want to keep going. I, I want to be the normal YouTuber who literally can have the average person who works a regular job, who's got a family, who doesn't want to spend all this time jumping through hoops, buying off Texas, using a VPN and having to buy on a shady exchange like Mexi or some, you know, lesser well-known exchange. Uh, so I'm definitely proving a point. I don't know how many degenerates I converted to normies, but man, it's uh, it, I'm sure one by one they're all starting to realize you can make some crazy gains. And yeah, like you just said, the majority of my picks are on Coinbase. A lot of them are pumping right now, right? What a surprise and ironic uh, situation. But this is the thing, right? I've been saying this for years now, for years. Like even with certain picks, right? The majority think like it, the, the listing of the crypto is what pumps it, which they're not wrong. You know, they, they are right. But you got to think of it this way, right? What's holding Casper back right now? Exposure, because it's not on the exchanges yet. The majority of people want to buy that crypto and casper right they want to buy it but then every time you make a video on it it's like hey john i wish it was on coinbase hey john i, I can't get this where do you buy it because the majority of people are waiting to buy it um so yeah you have a catalyst like a, a listing that pumps it but then even the ones that are already on coinbase already on binance they oftentimes pump at their good crypto because they already had the exposure they're probably just missing the marketing and the time to appreciate. Like our block was on Coinbase uh, last, I think it was in the bear market. Because uh, it, it was experimental when I first found it. And then it went from $0.07 cents to $2.40. And there was no listing. There was nothing crazy about it. It wasn't on Binance or anything. It was on Crypto.com's DeFi wallet. But it pumped because Robert Mao finished his ecosystem. He has finished products. So, uh yeah, it's already been a fun ride, but yeah, it's uh, exactly what you said. Like, personally, I'm not saying VPNs are bad. I just don't feel the need to have to have one to make money. And that's the point I'm going to prove in this cycle is that you can be a regular normie and still make gains, still become rich. <clears throat> Hope you get well soon. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, everyone likes that one. Lajar James. <laughs> X-Ray Games, first stream, appreciate your work. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Boil some wine and put a towel over you. Yeah, I probably should. Probably should. <laughs> what is up, man? Is it? Let's see. No, that's 64. I mean, it's still consolidating at the all time high is, is freaking amazing, right? Uh, yeah, this is a pump and dump, guys. Look at it, it's gonna go to zero. <laughs> so funny, it's only up 678% in the past 30 days. Like, this is why I always say do your research because these idiots that are saying this is a pump and dump are just morons. Like, I said it before, right? Anybody can create a YouTube channel and just talk. Anybody, literally any of you guys right now can start a YouTube channel and just start making wild accusations. It doesn't mean you're going to be correct, right? This is why I don't even care about defending myself. Like, look, the actions speak for itself. Even in the past seven days of 50%, like without even mentioning a word of this. Now it's, look at this. <laughs> it's so funny how, like, it's actually pretty easy to make money when you have people that fudge your picks because when they fud their picks, who's going to believe them? Beginners and people that are lazy, that depend on YouTubers' opinions. And what does that do? They sell it 
bigger discount. I come in, I soup all that shit up. My Discord soups all that shit up, and then we ride the coattails on the way up. Like, uh, it's really that simple. And I'm not trying to sound like a douchebag again. Like, I'm just telling you guys, like, when you have that mentality of I don't give a F and you buy in the red, you'd be surprised how much money you make on that mentality alone. It's literally so simple. But, uh, you know, people want to come on here. They buy at the all-time highs. I had someone on Twitter literally say, he's like, this is a pump and dump. And then I messaged him. I'm like, well, where'd you buy that? And he's like, I bought it at 60 cents, bro. And at the time, it was like 45 cents. And I'm like, well, yeah. Your perception of it is a dump because you bought at the all-time high. Like, of course you're going to say that. And the majority of people, they don't understand. Like, your timing matters, right? You waited until this price to jump in. Meanwhile, we're buying it at 14 cents, 20 cents. I bought it at 37 cents and 40. But that's that's how you make money, right? You buy here and you buy on the way up while it consolidates or enters a downtrend. But the majority of people don't do this. It's, it's literally so simple. And um, I'm not using a VPN to buy this. You know, buy this on Coinbase. Like, I can't get any more simpler than that. Um, but uh, it is what it is. <sighs> Hello, John. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you. And good to see you on Discord. When does the old coin season start? Once you start seeing Bitcoin uh, go down after a new all-time high, which right now it's at the all-time high, but... Uh, I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Um, I think Bitcoin personally is going to break 100K before we start seeing a potential old coin season. Um, we're still pre-cycle, pre-happing rather. So uh, Bitcoin could still dump, obviously. People are going to take profit, I'm sure, especially whales. But uh, until the Bitcoin having goes through, I'm not even thinking about old coin season yet. Even though it's possible, it could happen. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say it's impossible. Um I just think we still have time. But to answer your question, once you see Ethereum significantly outpacing Bitcoin, and then you start seeing large caps like Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Caspa, your top 100 go up like this, that is when the old coin season starts. Um, so we haven't yet, yet seen that. So just prepare, be ready. And uh, yeah, some crazy gains are coming. I don't know that one. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, crap, I missed uh, my place. Uh, here we go. Um, did you just start today? Uh, I would just DCA, not financial advice, um, and try to calm down a bit. It seems like you're very anxious. Uh, yeah, it, it takes time to see gains. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, just check out the videos. I recommend in your case joining Patreon on Discord so we can help you a little easier. But um, yeah, try to like relax a little bit. I know the fear of missing out is getting to you. It's probably getting to a lot of people. But just keep in mind, like we still have time. Not a lot of time, but we still have time. So just uh, make sure you research and you understand what's happening. But uh, yeah, hopefully you stick around and you learn something. Good afternoon, brother. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate everything you're doing for us. Much love, dog. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Today is a beautiful day. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm echoing because I have no mic. <laughs> Still. Yeah, same. Art block's going to move like crazy. And you know what, crypto? And I, I know I talked about it a lot. PNG has similar tokenomics to uh, Art block. And I like this one a lot more now because it's getting suppressed like our block. But it has a 230 million supply, 90% circulating. I see the next move for Penguin. Like Penguin obviously is completely different than our block. Don't even say it's the same crypto. But the tokenomics and scarcity is there. And it's catering to Avalanche, Hedera, Songbird, and Flare. And the majority of their supply is their liquidity pool, 83%. They have no allocations to the team. They even say that on Coinbase in the description. No allocation to the team. That's a very big incentive to see some crazy buying pressure soon. Um, but yeah, our block's going to definitely rocket ship uh, very soon, I feel. It already has, but you're going to see more gains. 
Nice. What are your thoughts on hello? Yeah, I'm not going to invest into it. I think it's up 30% today. Um, personally, I'm not going to get back in, but whoever's making gains, man, that's awesome. I, I don't know. Hello, again, you have to jump through hoops to buy it. I don't want to do that. So that's not my thing. But I did see uh, someone told me on Discord uh, something came out for it that was bullish. I think with Amazon or something. So that's probably why it's pumping. I hope your family's doing well too. Yeah, likewise, man. Thank you so much. We're doing good. Phil, do your own research. I had a huge bag of fetch at 19 cents. When an influencer convinced me to sell it, always have conviction that being said. PNG, Arrow, LBT, LCX to the moon, baby. Yes, yes, yes. And you're right. You always got to do your own research. Even if I say I'm bearish on a pick, like who cares what I say, right? Just do your own research. But John, what about OPHX Operation Phoenix? Yeah, I don't know that one. That sounds like a weird name. <laughs> Do you still own Turbo? Yeah, it's down 14% today, but I'm up over a 4X on it. Why would I sell it? Hey, Mark. <laughs> John is congested from all the gains. Yeah, the gains got me sick. They came too quick, and I couldn't, I couldn't react in time. Yeah, your gala's lost, unfortunately. No one's going to sell it because there's no buyers for it. So, unfortunately, it's forfeit. Any thoughts on number protocol? No, I don't know that one. Is gala going to keep going up? I mean, how would I know? Do you know this one? No. Are you still feeling good about shape shit fox? Yeah. Are you still bullish on crypto? <laughs> you guys are so funny. You know what's funny? The majority of people watching this probably don't understand you're being a troll, but uh, I do. It's, it's actually really funny. How high do you think Arrow will go? Uh, at least five dollars. I feel in this cycle. Uh, I think around four dollars is one billion, and with Coinbase Ventures backing it. Like actually backing it with probably around a hundred million dollars or more, I see them really pushing this up. I mean, base is going to be a very a very big layer two for, and that's going to have a big ecosystem in of itself. So, uh, yeah, I'm very bullish on Arrow. I think around five dollars minimum for that one. What's your opinion on stacks? I don't know. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I answered you like two seconds ago. I don't know. PNG going to rip, hell yeah. Price prediction for Fox, I would say uh, around three to five dollars a cycle. Hey, John, the switch has flipped on XRP. Nice, I know. And a lot more <clears throat> PNG, ABT, X11, XRP. Nice, nice. Yeah, I don't understand that. The centralized Uber, I don't know. I think that's a waste of time, to be honest. Hassan with two dollars super chat. Enough is enough. I am joining the Discord. Awesome, man. Good to see. That's gonna be awesome to see you. Um, <clears throat> when you join, I'll message you and send you a Discord link. Just keep in mind, I will not DM you on Discord. Only Patreon. So, uh, I'll be there to welcome you. It's a great group. I can't wait to see you there. And we're doing a live stream soon. I'm gonna announce it soon. So just be there for that. Thank you, man. <sighs> Hey, John, you still bullish on cash? Yeah, everyone that didn't research is losing hope. The majority of people, I feel, went all into Caspa based on hype. And those are the ones who are freaking out because they're literally watching all these cryptos go like this while Caspa has been consolidating. Um, that's why I said it, right? I even said it on Caspa. I made numerous videos saying, guys, you have to research this. Like, Because the majority of people, during the times of uncertainty, which what is uncertainty? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And what do we see for Caspa? Fear that it won't get listed on tier one. Uncertainty that the price won't go up. And doubt that it's going to get to a certain price. Literally, that's fun. The definition of fun. 
Um, this is why I, I always say, even a crypto like Casper, which to me is on the same level as Bitcoin and Ethereum, it doesn't matter if you have the best perfect crypto. If you don't believe in it, this will be tested and your bags will be gone. Sooner or later. I even said in the video, I forget which one it was for Casper. I said, don't be surprised that people will sell this crypto at around the all-time high because it doesn't move for like two months. You're going to see it happen. And guess who's going to buy that tip? Me and my Discord. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone sells it. And I'm not trying to sound like a douche. When I say everyone, I mean the paper hands. They're going to sell it anyway. They're going to watch this video. They're going to feel good for two minutes. Say, oh, John just gave me confirmation bias. I feel good. And then like tomorrow, it goes down to like 13 cents. They're going to say, oh my God, it's down. Sell. <laughs> it's so funny how that works. Uh, that's why people relentlessly seek confirmation bias, confirmation bias, because their conviction is so weak. They have a foundation of sand. Like you ever see sand at the beach, you put it in your hands, what to do? It goes through your hands and goes to, to the floor. That's literally how these retail investors are buying Caspa. They're buying it because some YouTuber or me or whatever is saying it's bullish. And they're saying, okay, I'm going to sit back. They did a research for me. No need to research it until they see XRP's up 20%. And Caspa has been flatlined. They're like, oh my God, what's going on? I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say at this point. Like, I can only say so much. Uh, it's literally uh, the day they sell their cash, but it's the day they're going to change their life for the worst. I hate to say it, but I hope they sell it. I want to see a bigger discount for cash, but. Eat this Smith with a $5 super chat. Thank you, sir. Means a lot. <laughs> hey, John, shapeshift fox to the moon. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, it's up to you. I'm not gonna sell anything. Uh, but if you want to be a trader and, and risk it, I mean, you know, you do you. Some people do that with good success and some do it with absolute failure. So uh, just understand if you sell your portfolio, that's playing with fire because anything can happen. What if Bitcoin were to hit 90K after you sold it? Would you be happy or would you be like, holy shit, what the hell did I just do? So you do whatever you want to do. Obviously, it's your money. It's your decision. Who the F cares what I say? But uh just understand it's not always like money, 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 taxes, and you could get wrecked. So uh, that's a real possible future. Just understand that. Understand the risk to reward always. What's up, John? How was your weekend? I didn't get to LCX set, and it's now good. It is now. Uh, it's up to you. I can't answer that for you. Uh if you see my Patreon and Discord, you'll see what, what I've been buying, but I can't I can't answer that for you because you're literally asking me if uh, if I'm convicted enough to keep buying it, and then you're going to decide if you get in based on what I say. So I, I can't give you that confirmation bias. I know you're here a lot. You're a regular subscriber, but listen, I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to help you become better. Um, so the faster you understand this, the faster you research, you'll understand where my head is at. Um that's probably not the answer you want to hear, but it's the answer you need to hear. What's up, Ethan? Messed up my super chat. <laughs> it's all good, brother. Hope you're doing good. Some people are going to wish they listen to you and wish they research. Love the Discord and the community. Also, I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been messaging me saying you love it there. I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. I always say that is my favorite community. I love it. Aside from here on YouTube, like I literally look forward to being in Discord. Um, my ex girlfriend used to give me shit because I was on Discord with you guys <laughs> more than spending time with her. I'm not even joking. Like she used to say, I can't believe you spent like all day talking to them. It's actually really funny how that how that happens looking back. Um, but yeah, it's a great place. And uh, thank you again, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, like the job here is not to say things and have people blindly listen. 
the job is for you guys to get that message, the initial message, and say, okay, let me take a look at what he's saying. You know, he said research. Let me spend some time in research. Like, listen, I have a job outside of here. I worked this entire two and a half years I've been on YouTube. If I can research, if I can find time to research, you can too. Like, there's no reason to be lazy. Like, I literally have a job outside of here, and I've been researching and finding some pretty damn good picks. And I'm literally always tired. Last night, I didn't make a video because I was sleeping. I slept the whole day yesterday. I got off work. I was exhausted. My brother came over. I was with my family. I was playing with his dog. He's a very cute dog, by the way. And uh, I was like, holy crap. I drank a beer. I had dinner, and I passed out and fell asleep. I was so tired because all the work got to me. <laughs> you know, I'm human, right? Uh, but listen, if I can find time to find gems, or to have conviction, like you guys can too. So Ethan, I'm very glad you're there, and I'm glad you're one of the minorities who actually think for themselves. I wish the majority uh, thought the way you did, but unfortunately they don't. It is what it is. Kartik, thanks for replying to my message, and that makes total sense. Love your Discord, and one of my favorite YouTubers. Glad I got into Patreon and learning. Yo, thank you so much, man. And I'm glad you're there. And listen, yeah, I know sometimes I give you guys tough love. Like, I, I don't give you guys the answer you want to hear. Even if you're in my Discord, I will literally say, like, listen, you do research. Like, it's – I understand, you know, like, I'll always look out for you guys. I'm, I'm a nice guy, whatever. But like I said in, in videos, right, I'm not here to be your best friend. I'm not here to say what you want to hear. I don't care if you guys want to be told over and over, hey, guys, this crypto is going to the moon. I know we want to hear that, and we like seeing games like this with Arrow. Um, but it doesn't help you when you are told the same thing over and over without you yourself taking action, changing this, because if you don't get better, what happens? Suppression. And what happens when you suppress? They say you die, right? Like what's that expression? Uh, uh, if you're not growing, you're stagnating. And what does stagnation mean? A slow death. You know, I, I really believe that. Like in my personal life, I'm always going to the gym, always reading books. I'm always trying to get better mentally, physically, spiritually, because I what for one, I love chasing a carrot. I love working towards something. But two, because I know the minute I become complacent and start relaxing, aside from yesterday, passing out and sleeping, um, the day that I feel like, okay, I'm at the top, whatever, I'll just relax. That's the day I slowly regress. And I don't like being in that position. So, uh, I'm glad you're there. Thank you for your super chat. Uh, uh, uh. What is up? Arrow, it just makes sense. Yep. Let's actually see where it's at right now. Thought my screen was gonna freeze for a second. <laughs> I converted my ICP to XRP. Did you do it at the pump? Um, I mean, you do you, whatever you want. I don't hold any of those, but you know, here's what it is. Uh, XRP is still trash. Well, not really. I mean, I don't hold it, but I'm not gonna make up some stupid nonsense. They're up 20% today. And some cryptos are like this. So it's all relative, right? If you bought XRP before the case ended at 25 cents, you're loving the price now. But obviously, if you bought if you buy it at 70 cents, you fucking hate it. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> but like I said, it's all about timing, right? Even Bitcoin. You buy Bitcoin today at 72K, you will hate yourself in two months. But you'll love it when it hits 100K, 150K, right? So a lot of this is entry, even Casper, right? People that hate Casper are the ones buying it at 20 cents and see it at 15 cents now. The ones who love it are the ones who are buying with me at a penny and two cents and five cents and 10 cents. So a lot of this is uh, perception and perception comes from your own experience, which is what? Your entries. So uh, I'm not here saying, you know, I agree with you. I don't, first of all, but I know XRP is not trash. I sold this crypto. For Caspa. So trust me when I say I'm not biased here. But I know for a fact that people that were saying that, are they're, they're going to wear the hard way, unfortunately. Um, XRP is still a good play, even though I don't hold it. Is it going to $1,000 though? Hell no. <laughs> but it's definitely not going to go to zero. 
<clears throat> yeah, man. I don't know that one. I see what you did there. Reverse psychology to cause FOMO into Maple. Don't worry, I will not follow you. <laughs> I refuse to get rich off a of central mega coin. I mean, no offense, but no one cares. Like, we're not here caring about the majority of crypto, by the way, is centralized. If you're a company, which is proof of stake, you're centralized. Now, XRP, I don't think it's proof of stake. They have their own uh, consensus, but but the majority of crypto is centralized. Almost every crypto, the ones who are not, even Ethereum, by the way, is centralized to an extent because they have a team behind it. Cash plus decentralized, Bitcoin is decentralized, and very few crypto can, can be called decentralized. Um, so I understand your statement completely, totally get it. But uh, I wouldn't be so hung up on stuff like this because if it makes you money, who gives a F, right? I mean, who cares, right? Like uh, LCX is in the World Economic Forum. How bad is that? How much of a red flag is that, right? But how is that a green flag? Connections. Connections, right? So the who you know, not what you know, say VC back crypto. Oh, my God. VC suck. They're going to dump. Saves up a 4X. You know, so this is why... You got to dig a little deeper and understand. I mean, you got to ask yourself too: Do you care more about the morality of the crypto you're buying, the 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 uh, the nuances of what it is, or do you care about making money? What do you hear? Are you investing because you want to buy a decentralized crypto and make no money, or do you want to buy a crypto that maybe you don't like a hundred percent, but you know it can make you some money? So for me, as a crypto enthusiast, I love Casper, love Bitcoin. I would just buy that if I just want to be a complete enthusiast. I would just buy those two. But I'm here as an investor to make money. And this is not for XRP. This is for any centralized crypto. If if my crypto is centralized, but I believe in it, I like it, what am I going to do? I'm going to throw money at it. I'm going to wait and make some profits. So uh, it's all relative. Uh, PRQ is migrated to React token. So I would not buy that. But you do what you want. Uh, sure. Yeah, again, they're they're uh, migrating to React token. They're gonna drain liquidity from PRQ and put it to React. Um, you can take my word. You can say go after yourself. Could care less. You'll see. Like uh, I used to hold that. I was bullish on it, and then I sold it when I found that out. So uh, it's up to you. Do your own research. Nice man, nice. This guy's really shilling maple. My God, you're probably all into maple. I like maple syrup. I will say that. Damn it. Damn, Lynn. Good for you. 20K. Good for you. That's the power of conviction. Are you big in Bitcoin? I don't hold Bitcoin. I'm an old coin investor. I used to. Hey, John, you still bullish on USDC. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, thank you for watching. For those who want to join, I'll put a link for Patreon and Discord in the comments down below. Um, just keep in mind, I might open up the Alpha Wolf tier again. I've been getting a lot of requests to open that back up. Um, just keep in mind, if I do that, it's going to be a very limited tier. Uh, but I will be open to possibly reopening that again soon. Uh, for those who are interested in that. Uh, for, anyways, though, guys, see you in the next video. I'm going to drink my tea. I need it.